All right, so we're back for the next segment. Now what we've done in the last segment is we've added this text, right? The scrolling text. What we want to do now is have the scrolling text and then automatically have a flashing arrow or some other screenshot as we talked about in previous videos displayed in sequence right after as part of the same program that we put onto the uh, SD chip. So maybe it's a particular company name and then there's an arrow saying, hey, uh, they're in this direction, look over here, whatever it is. Uh, so what we do is we want to go ahead and quit that. We had already saved it. We're going to go ahead and open the screenshot. So go to screenshot, open. Now, once again, over on the right hand side, that's what's displayed. And I have these same arrows pulled up and I'm going to just take, take that arrow that like we had before. and put it on there. Now what's going to happen is it's it's the arrow is going. I'm going to hit the record button. And depending on how long we want the arrow to flash for, you know, we want to have the business name there, whatever. It, you guys are the artists. We hit the button. Now we're recording. We're adding on to the scrolling text. We don't want it there for too long. Good enough. We stopped. Now now the program frames are at 450. We started at like 296. So there's 150 and 154 uh, frames of this flashing arrow. Once that 400, because we're at 450 now, once that 450 runs its life, runs its course, it's going to go back to the start and just loop over again. Now let's say we wanted to add a different arrow. Maybe this one. That one doesn't really move. Not a great animation. That one's it's kind of a small array for something like this. That looks like a snake on there. There's some arrows. That's that's not a horrible animation. So we can add another animation, record a little bit more, tack onto the arrow that we had going the other direction. Obviously, this isn't what you want to do, but it's just to illustrate you can put multiple, you can continue to record multiple segments uh, into one one program from different areas of the program so now that we're done recording so we want to hit the close the screenshot now we can go to export and click the export tab up top export effect parentheses dot led parentheses dot 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 e click that now we need to go down to computer or wherever your storage device can be found. Click on that. And what we actually want to do first is I'm going to go into the storage device. And delete it. Whatever was on there. Okay, so back to where we were. Export, export effect. Now we're back here to computer. Secure drive, okay. Back to this program. We're just gonna leave it at zero, zero because I just deleted everything that was on there. Zero, zero, click okay. Now it's on there. We have downloaded the program, safely eject. Eject memory card. Same situation. Like I said before, I'm going to remind you every time, plug in the SD card to the controller with no power to the system. Plug it in. What we're going to do here now is we're going to watch. It's scrolling. Boom! Arrow. For approximately, I think what I say, 150 frames. Then the other arrows, for however long we had those on and then back to scrolling, and it's going to continue to do that. And that's it for now. I uh, hope, hope this helps, gives you some confidence to be able to get into, uh, into this. Uh, we're running on the, we have a 60 amp, 5 volt power supply, the T1000S uh, controller, and uh, these are the 28, WS2801 uh, IC2180, you know what I mean. It's been a long night. 
thanks for watching. Good luck and uh, and post whatever you make. There's a lot of great stuff and don't let don't let the uh, idea of flat you know hinder you. I I left it flat for the purposes of the video, but you can do all kinds of wild stuff. Seeing as all this stuff is flexible and uh, as well as waterproof. So have fun out there, and we'll talk to you.